You know, we all have days that we simply can't forget. For some it's a birthday, others it's an anniversary, a special event. Uh, we hope that it's often happy moments, but often they're sad. And January the 18th will always be one of those days where, uh, for many of us, we will never forget. It was just a few days before January the 18th, some four or five years ago, that I'd um, had an extended day with uh, my younger brother, Komla, in which we'd spoken about everything from politics to Africa to blackness to future presidents, past presidents, what needed to be changed in order for us to move ahead. And he spoke with a passion that he always di did, and, and I'd say does as well. It was a very moving time. Um, and yes, I cooked as I normally did, and we joked, and there was a lighter side. And when I had the call on January the 18th, sort of mid-morning, that something had happened, and I needed to confirm and check, and I'd asked my, my dear wife to rush across to Rickmansworth to where Komla lived with his family. And she reached and she said, your brother is no more, and it was hectic, and chaotic. I dropped everything that I was holding. It was a totally unbelievable moment. And shocking. Shocking, that's all I can say. And uh, since that day, it's uh, as though something has been missing in my life and I think in the life of many. For such a young man in his early 40s, 41, to be taken away and still have an influence over so many people who, many whom have never met, but they knew that he stood for the right thing not for the wrong thing. He had a unique voice and he was larger than life, um, says a great deal. All I can say is that for somebody who was so special to me and to others, he'll never be forgotten, that he never will be. We say a private prayer for him and I know he'll be overseeing, overlooking from up above and praying that we do the right thing and that um, we lead our lives in the right way that we can help everybody, especially the less fortunate. So. It's a day that um, I've woken up, I've taken my time, I've said my little prayer and I remember uh, because Komla was special and I think it is uh, a person that uh, I certainly will never forget.